There you have it. Colored Valley Cooks Salisbury Steak. We're making a family favorite. This is a great dish to make during the holidays for your family. It's something that you can mix up, put in the oven, and make the gravy while the meat is cooking, and everyone is going to think it's amazing. Salisbury steak. We're going to start off with a pound and a half of ground chuck. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of pepper. We're going to use a packet of Lipton onion. I chose beefy onion because this is a beef dish. They, of course they have different ones. So we're going to pour this in here. Remember this has a lot of salt in it. And it has onion in it, but we're going to put some green onion in there too. We're going to use one egg. This is an actual jumbo egg, so just make sure you at least use a large egg. We're going to use some crackers. Uh, you can use breadcrumbs, uh, stuff and mix, whatever you've got handy. Make your own uh, breadcrumbs. But the great thing about using crackers is everybody's got some. And if you don't, you need to buy some. Okay. Um, I'm going to use about a half a sleeve of these in here. So you're just going to crunch them. See how easy that is? It's not hard. It's a great ingredient to have on hand. If you have oyster crackers, you can use those too. Just crush them. Now I'm going to sit this down here for a minute. And we are going to put in some green onion. I'm going to put in two larger green onions. And you can put as much green onion in yours as you like, but we like it. And so I'm going to put a good bit of green onion in ours. So we're just going to dice this green onion. Good thing about dicing the onion and putting it in there is it's not going to separate your meat like big chunks of regular onion will. If you like our cut boards or anything you see in our kitchen, you can go to www.coloredvalleycooks.com. There are tabs at the top for different categories for you to buy and purchase my favorite things through Amazon. And then these cutting boards are actually through an individual guy named Kevin who makes them custom made. We're gonna get this onion in the bowl. Now for our secret ingredients. Everybody should have these ingredients at home. I'm trying to make this simple so that it's not hard for you to make it. We're gonna use some yellow mustard. We're going to use about two teaspoons. I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of ketchup. And then Worcestershire, you want to get at least a tablespoon's worth, so just put some in there. Now it's time to mix it up. just too hard to try to mix up a meatloaf or steak or there's a lot of things you just you just need to use your hands for and this is one of them I was gonna try to do it for those that hate me cooking with my hands but let's do it like I would do it like mama would do it like granny would do it we're using our hands mixing this up smells so good already we're gonna make some patties out of these and we're gonna place them on a pan so that we can cook them in the oven. Now, the good thing about using the oven to do these is because they have a lot of ingredients in them, especially ketchup and stuff like that, they'll tend to want to stick to the bottom and burn. If you put them in the oven and just make your gravy on the stove top, then you don't have anything to worry about. They're gonna be beautiful. They're gonna look good. All the grease is gonna come out of them. They're just gonna do great. But try to get them all about the same height in your pan. Now let me wash my hands and we'll get them in the oven. Okay, we're going to get our steaks in the oven. And I'm going to cook these at 350 degrees 
for 30 minutes. Now, everybody's oven is different. Just make sure that you get this meat all the way done, even in the center, because it's ground beef. Okay. All right, while you're cooking your steak, you can go ahead and start prepping for your gravy. We are going to use a small yellow onion, and I am just going to slice it in small strips. You can't make Salisbury steak without a delicious gravy. Now, we didn't put garlic in our steak, but we are gonna put some fresh garlic in our gravy. And it will be one of the last things that goes in because you want it to taste fresh. Now we have a half pint of mushrooms. And I think that's more than enough for our gravy. So I'm just gonna chop these up a little bit so that they're not so big. I'm gonna put these in my bowl and get them over here. Um, to the stove top so that when we make our gravy, they'll be handy. So there's our mushroom and our onion. And our garlic will go in last, okay? After our gravy is really made. All right, let's go over here. Now we can go ahead and preheat an iron skillet Right now it's on a low temperature preheating. And while we do that, we can go ahead and put a half stick of butter in our skillet and let that be melted. I am going to open up some beef stock. Now I prefer stock over broth. So if you're making it and you want it to be hearty, then buy the stock. And um, if you have some on hand that you've made at home, of course use it. And it smells so good. I say we use it all. This is a 32 ounce uh, container of stock, so let's just use it all. I think it'll probably be right at four cups. Now we're gonna put in some cornstarch. We're using cornstarch instead of flour so that, that our gravy is a nice clear brown gravy, okay? Um, if you use flour and milk, then it would be cloudy and creamy looking. That is not what we want. So I'm going to use cornstarch I'm using the tablespoons and I'm actually going to use five. Now we're going to mix the cornstarch in our stock. Make sure you beat it good. You want to use a wire whisk and make sure that cornstarch gets down in there good um, so that you do not wind up with a lumpy gravy. Let's go ahead and, and put in some Worcestershire sauce while we're at it. Put in about a tablespoon. We're gonna put in our mushrooms and onion. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little pepper, about a half a teaspoon. And we're just gonna let these get a little bit soft. And then we'll make our gravy. But let these simmer just a few minutes and get soft. And continue to stir them so that since you've got so much in the skillet, you want to make sure they rotate. And... All right, that looks about right to me. You don't want to just cook it to death. You want, you know, to be pretty in your gravy. Now I'm going to whisk. You can see that the cornstarch is kind of... Um, made its way down to the bottom of my stock. So we're just going to whisk it really well. And then we're going to pour it into the skillet. Now using cornstarch will actually clear it up once it thickens. Okay? Now, at this point is when I'm gonna add my garlic. I did not want my garlic to sit on the bottom of the skillet and roast. I want it to taste fresh. You do the same thing with um, spaghetti sauce, if you're smart, if you want the garlic flavor in there. So we're gonna take a clove of garlic, we're gonna put it through the press, and we are going to put it in our gravy. and one ought to be plenty to give it some flavor. So we're just gonna wait till this heats up and thickens, it'll just take a minute. Okay, our steak's got about four minutes left on the clock. You can see as it heats up, it's starting to turn brown. 
so the stalk, the color of the stalk is going to come back and um, the starch is going to turn clear once it heats. All right, so this is about perfect. So we're just going to turn it on and leave it sitting here until we pour it over our steak. All right, we're going to take these out of here. Good thing about doing them in the oven is you can do something else in the kitchen while they cook. Um, Oh, they smell good. All right, we're gonna put these right here and we're going to make a plate. All right, we're gonna use this steak. We're gonna put it on our plate. All right, we're gonna put our gravy over the top. There you have it, Colored Valley Cooks. Salisbury steak. Does that look good or what? Be really good with some cream potatoes, y'all. Let's have a taste. That's some good eats. Gravy myself because the meat is so salty and flavorful. I would make the gravy just like I did. Your family's gonna love you when you make them this dish, I promise. It is so good. Make some cream potatoes and peas or green beans to go with it. Wow, how delicious is that? Mmm. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. And I gave you simple ingredients to make this outstanding dish too.